Have you ever had one of those shower moments when you just sit there asking yourself, what is reality? Why does my dog stare me in the eyes when he poops? Well, we're not going to answer any of those questions today, but we are going to talk about five questions science still can't answer. Number five, why do we dream? Thousands of years ago, people were thinking that dreams were a gateway between Earth and the gods. Freud's theory of dreams says that the unconscious mind governs behavior to a greater degree than people suspect, meaning that dreams express our subconscious desires. Both theories were scientifically rejected later. In fact, almost all the theories about dreams have been rejected by scientists. Though, there are a few things known about dreams. Our dreams are most abundant and most remembered during the rapid eye movement, or REM sleep. We all dream, but the frequency and what we remember varies from person to person. However, there is no scientific explanation for the strange images and voices that we see and hear when we dream. Like when you win the lottery and buy your dream car, huge mansion and yachts and your mom comes in and wakes you up. You've gotta love your mom. Number 4. What's inside of a black hole? First, a black hole is a place in space where gravity pulls so much that even light cannot get out and they usually form when stars 20 times more massive than our sun die. A black hole has a boundary, called an event horizon. Beyond that boundary, nothing can escape and reach us, so even if we sent an explorer into the black hole, it could never communicate with us. In fact, if we are close enough to see the satellite falling into the black hole, we will notice that the satellite will stop right at the point where it reaches the event horizon. From now on, the satellite will slowly turn red since the light waves reflected from the satellite will be stretched more and more until they will become too long to even see them the satellite will fade into nothingness. Now let's talk about what happens beyond the event horizon. Current theories predict that all matter in a black hole is piled up in a single point at the center called a singularity. That point contains a huge amount of mass in an infinitely small space where gravity and density become infinite and space-time curves infinitely. Unfortunately, no one can say what's inside of a black hole for sure, but if you ever happen to fall into a black hole, Make sure you do with your feet forward so you can see your entire body stretch towards the singularity. In actual technical terms, you will be spaghettified. Number 3. Why do we yawn? From unborn babies to oldest people and animals, everyone yawns, but why exactly do we yawn? On average, a person will yawn around 250 times in their lifetime. Despite this, scientists can't explain the reason behind this reflex. There are many theories about why people yawn. One is that when we are bored or tired, we just don't breathe as deeply as we usually do and our bodies take in less oxygen because of the slowed breathing. Therefore, yawning helps us bring in more oxygen to the blood. Sounds correct, but other studies have shown that breathing more oxygen does not decrease yawning. Another theory is that yawning stretches the lungs and lung tissue. Stretching and yawning may be a way to flex muscles and joints, increase heart rate, and feel more awake. But there is one idea about yawning that everyone knows to be true. It seems to be contagious. So, next time when you're at your workplace or classroom, try yawning a few times. But before, make sure your colleagues are looking at you. Number 2. How does the placebo effect work? It's amazing how this phenomenon where a fake treatment can improve a patient's health simply because they believe it still works in our current time. Though, the perfect placebo has a look, color and taste of the drug it's being compared to, but it doesn't include the active drug ingredients. Often, it includes sugar, cellulose and starch. It's funny that a placebo capsule works better than a placebo tablet, a placebo injection works better than a placebo capsule, and placebo machines work better than placebo injections. Even taking two placebos works better than taking one. Taking expensive placebos stamped with brands works better than taking cheap ones and putting them in nice looking packaging and giving them fancy names can add to all of this. What's funnier is that their color can make a difference. A placebo sleeping pill works best if it's blue, red placebo is better for pain relievers and yellow placebo for antidepressants. Now go buy a placebo lorry pill, it should be green and have a 4 leaf clover on it. And bring me one as well. Number 1. What is the universe made of? Everything we see around us is made of atoms, which is around 5% of the universe. In the past 80 years, scientists discovered that the other 95% of the observable universe is made of dark matter and dark energy. 
Dark matter is believed to be responsible for much of the mass in the universe and it binds galaxies together. Without it, galaxies should be ripping themselves apart, while dark energy is believed to be the force pushing the universe's expansion and accelerating it. If dark energy becomes more dominant, the entire universe may rip itself apart in an event which is called the Big Rip. This will make everything in the universe from stars and galaxies to atoms and subatomic particles and even space-time itself tear itself apart. But if dark matter's influence will increase, that will collapse the entire universe back upon itself in an event called the Big Crunch. Though dark matter and dark energy are both invisible to light and electromagnetic radiation, so it is impossible for now to detect or understand what they actually are. And I don't think we will anytime soon with the world's politics and conflicts being, for some reason, much more important than science. But that's a story for another video. Enjoying our videos? Make sure to click on the subscribe button in the top right corner. Share this video with your friends and help us grow. Check out our Facebook and Twitter pages by clicking on these logos.